This video will cover section 1.6, Networks Under Attack Security. The field of network security is about several things. It's about how bad guys can attack computer networks, how we, the good guys, can defend against attacks, and how we can design architectures that are immune to attacks. Um, originally, the, net, the, the internet was not designed with security in mind. It was really um, just a group of mutually trusting users attached to this very transparent network. Um, you can imagine back in the day, it's these guys who are really just experimenting with this new computer technology. There are very few, few people on this network of networks, and they are um, naturally, they're not that concerned about security because there's nobody out there that's going to attack them. They're all really um, a group of uber geeks working on this, um, this geeky project. Um, it just happens that this project ends up changing the world and becomes permeated into everything that we do in society. And because of that, we're paying the price for their not um, designing security into the internet from start, but how could they have known how, how successful their experiment was going to be? So really, internet protocol designers are playing catch-up to the current reality, which is internet, the networks are under attack, and people are trying to exploit every part that they can um, in order to um, to steal money and to do uh, to do bad things. So, currently, security is a major consideration at all layers in the protocol stack. The author gives this description of malware. There's a lot of things that um, are bad software: viruses, worms, Trojan horses. Um, each of these pieces of software will may infect a host, a computer, and do bad things. The um, a Trojan horse is a hidden part of some otherwise useful software um, that will sneak into your your system. A virus is an infection that's received by an object, often an email attachment or some downloaded downloaded program. It typically involves um, a self-replication process where it will propagate itself to other hosts and other users um, by expanding and pushing itself out. A worm is an infection that's passively received um, and gets itself ex executed. It will also be self-replicating. There are types of other types of malware inc include spyware, which is software that might kind of spy on user activities like keystrokes or websites visited, um, those sorts of things, to collect information behind your back. When infected hosts are kind of grouped together and a lot of hosts have been compromised, those that group of collected hosts can be used as a botnet and used for spam and denial of service attacks, especially distributed denial of services attacks. Um, so there are lots of types of malware, and we'll talk more about these um, later on in the course. Um, this graph is from the author and it kind of shows you this old out worm outbreak, the sapphire worm, and how quickly it sent a lot of packets. You see just minutes after the initial outbreak how many millions of packets per second were being sent out by this worm. So as, um, as these worms and viruses, uh, because they're self-replicating, they can cause this exponential explosion in network traffic um, if that's the thing they attack. Um, we're going to look at some other types of attacks as well. One very popular attack is the denial of service attack. Denial of service, basically the attacker makes your resources, that, that is servers or bandwidth, unavailable to legitimate traffic because they're overwhelmed by trying to serve bogus traffic or bogus requests. That is the attacker just trying to overwhelm you with these fake requests so you can't get any real work done. Uh, the idea is that we would select a target, um, the bad guy would um, possibly break into several other hosts to have this big botnet, and then have all of those hosts at the same time send packets requesting resources from, um, from this target server. So that's a denial of service attack, and, and perhaps even a distributed denial of service attack if lots of um, distributed hosts are doing the attack. Another type of Network attack is something called packet sniffing, something that we're going to be uh, using in our Wireshark labs. The idea is many uh, 
physical media are broadcast media. Things like Ethernet and wireless uh, come to mind. On a wireless network, everybody can hear what everybody else is saying inside um, that local area network. Usually you only listen to the packets that are addressed to you, but it's possible to change your configuration so that you listen to everything that's said, not just the stuff that's addressed to you. Um, malicious users then might listen for packets that are very interesting and record those things with passwords or other sensitive information. Um, Wireshark is one free software, one free packet sniffing software that we'll use in our class uh, to experiment and to learn about some protocols. Another type of attack is called IP spoofing. The idea here is that you can lie about your source address um, and pretend to be somebody else. You can spoof their address and even though you see C here, the bad guy, he's claiming um, that he is source B and sending a packet to destination A, uh, but he's d definitely not. So we need to have mechanisms in our protocols that would prevent this kind of spoofing of your address and trying to impersonate somebody else. Related to that, a record and playback attack, uh, the idea is that you can sniff, that is record, overheard sensitive information like passwords and such, and use them later by simply recording what you heard, storing it, and then sending a packet like that and impersonating someone else's IP address. Um, and without ever getting their username and password, you, you, you've you've recorded it and you can use it later. Even if it's encrypted, you've got the encrypted version. So our protocols have to take into account this kind of security attack in order uh, to guard against them. In chapter 8, we're going to talk a lot more about security and throughout the course. Um, we'll talk about cryptographic techniques and other types of attacks. Security is really, really important today, so it is important that we always keep security in mind as we design our networks.